Now we're gonna get changed, go back to my actual hotel. I can't believe it worked. Bit for Kay to cook the sandwich. You can see her cooking it, so I'll put that on screen now. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. Morning everyone, so day two and today I am pushing myself out of my comfort zone a little bit. What I've decided to do first thing this morning is sort of copy something that Simon Wilson did. In his video he went to a hotel that he wants staying at and used their pool facilities and stuff. So what I'm going to try and do is go down to the hotel next door and see if I can get in and use the pool. All I've got with me is my shorts. I ain't got my bag or out like that, left it at the hotel. So I'm just gonna take a wander and try and do that. It's quite scary, because it's not something I do. I feel like a bit of a criminal, like and I'm not stealing anything, but I'm like doing something for free that I shouldn't be doing. So what I'll do is I'll just shut off the camera, go find out where the pool is, and yeah, see if I can get in and I'll try and get the camera on when I get there. Ooh, wish me luck. Oh my god, so I've made it past reception. So you needed a key card to get in. Look, just as I came walking down, this couple got out the lift with the kids and opened the door for me, so I'm in. All right. Hi mate, do you provide the towels here? Yeah, you look to use the gym? Uh, no, just the pool, mate, just the pool. Just gotta let you know, there's no cameras there. Right, yeah, that's fine, no, I won't be taking it in there, I'm not risking getting it wet. If you can give you a small key, you can leave that in a lock. These ones out here are locked on side. Yeah, please, mate, yeah, yeah, yes, definitely. So these are for lockers and so you can just leave all your clothes and stuff in there. I'll just get you sign in there for me, please. <laughs> Fabulous mate, thank you. Always. So your code to get in is 8686, you just walk straight through. 8686. Oh my god, I just made up a room number. It said put your room number in and I just made one up because I looked at what room numbers they had. 8686. I can't even believe this has worked. <laughs> right, let's go in there. Right, so I'm going to get changed to go in the pool. So, just finished in the pool. There was a jacuzzi full of old people, so I went and sat and chilled with them for 10 minutes. I also went and went in the sauna, the dry one and the wet one. Don't know what much of the difference was. Um, and I did a couple of lengths of the pool. And now I'm going to get changed, go back to my actual hotel, and get my bag, get sorted, and then go and change this jumper. Oh, I can't believe it worked. <sighs> just left the hotel. Put my bag in the little safe room that they have. Uh, I've got my Roan Kerr bag. I'm gonna take a 40 minute walk to Roan Kerr. Get a drink and some breakfast and a coffee and that on the way, hopefully. Yeah, then to go to the food review place. I just wanna get this out of the way and done. Because otherwise I've bought a jumper that I can't wear. So I can't even believe how lucky I just got then. Yeah, I'll uh, keep you updated on my day.
finished at Roan Co, bless them, they couldn't have been more helpful. The security guard recognised me straight away, he's like, oh, what are you doing back here, man? So, well impressed with that, what a legend. I've actually ended up getting a double XL, which considering I've lost a load of weight, I'm not impressed about. But it's because they were tiny. But now I'm going to take a walk to somewhere called Kay's Kitchen. Go get me breakfast from there and review it. Whew. God. As if I ain't had enough walking to do. I was wondering about what I stumbled across this place, the brazen head. I like it. I don't know if it'll... It's alright, sorry. Um, which basically it says is Ireland's oldest pub. So why not go have a quick pan? It says it's in here, but it's only got one review, so I don't see it being in a shopping centre because it'd have so many more reviews. Right, let's have a look. Oh, it's there as well. Oh, I found it. Sick. We'll go in here, review this place. Made it to Kay's kitchen. She's just making me the sandwich now. Um, I don't know how they know it's my sandwich because they haven't given me anything to, do you know, like a table number or like that. Or, so I'm just gonna sit, wait for Kay to cook the sandwich. I'll, uh, you can see her cooking it, so I'll put that on screen now. Hi people, and I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to be doing a chicken club sandwich. When it gets here, I'll taste it and let you know what it's like. Right, so that is a chicken club sandwich. That's the <laughs> product. Lee has refused to do the tasting. Where do I start? Exactly. <laughs> I know I've got a big mouth, but that just takes piss. So the food has arrived. It smells nice, looks okay. She said there's some chips coming with it as well, and they'll be in a minute. They'll be here in a minute, so... Yeah, I'll give it a try and... Let's see how it goes. All I've just noticed, there's one different crystal. That's not a crinkle cut, so where's that come from? I must admit... The bacon, if you can see... Is it going to focus? The um, bacon, a little bit overdone here, I'm afraid. And I'm back cooking again. And today I'm going to make chips. The fat is bubbling, yeah? Because it's only more or less just been turned on. But I'm going to put the chips in so they can start doing. Took the time, but the chips have finally arrived. I don't know what took so long because it's anemic. <laughs> yeah, the chips are not good enough for my liking at all. There's this one that's got a little bit of colour to it. Oh god, they're real oily. Real oily, I won't be eating them. So I might know for more points there, Kay, because I'm not impressed. Bacon, a bit overdone. Chips, very anemic, needed about an extra 10 minutes. Other than that, really nice, really good chicken. Yeah, quite happy. You know, you don't just look my review. Let's find out what some things. Sorry. <laughs> so do I get a thumbs up? <laughs> Thank you. I stumbled across a shisha place. So, just got myself a cheese pipe and we'll actually go out here for a little bit. I'm 
soaking up those summer nights And I've been soaking up those summer nights Whoa, oh, oh, soaking up those summer nights Yeah, I've been soaking up those summer nights Whoa, oh, oh, soaking up those summer nights We're in an app called Couchsurfing that Simon Wilson uses Hoping obviously to stay on someone's couch, but I couldn't find anyone, which is all right, that's fine. But they host, they're hosting an event tonight at a bar where basically anyone who's travelling alone, um, who's in Dublin, can meet up at this bar at seven o'clock and meet up with other people who are also travelling alone, which is fantastic. There's like 30 plus attending, so I put a post on because it said it was at this certain bar, but this bar says it's permanently closed, so I put a post on like there wall thing that's to do with this meeting about the bars permanently closed, are you sure it's this one? And then this Japanese bloke's got in touch from me like, oh hi mate, I'm in Dublin as well myself, uh, travelling alone with no friends or anything. He was like, do you fancy meeting up and that? So I'm just off to go meet my new Japanese friend called Joe. trying to find somewhere to stand because it is ridiculously busy. There's tons of people, but <laughs> me and Joe have come to get some food because we're absolutely starving. The best place we could find was a spa around the corner. Not perfect, but it's better than starving. <laughs> So I think that I'll do for Dublin, it is nearly 2 o'clock in the morning and I've got a plane to catch at 3 in 13 hours so I'm going to go back, try and get some sleep, I can't even believe the trip that I've had, the people I've met, the things I've seen, the stuff I've done. Honestly, the whole trip's just been so overwhelming. It's been one of the best trips of my life. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash that like button, you hit subscribe because I'm posting so much over 2020. I've got loads going on, I can't even wait. And yeah, I hope you all enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoy it as much as I have enjoyed making it. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope you all have a good 2020. Make sure you go out there, chase your girls. Don't stop until you get what you want. Hey! Hey!
<laughs> he's so fucking bad at the rap and the rhyme and he's actually really trying to fucking waste my time I'm sitting here chilling on a fucking step with my mate and this I've got guy this bitch right we're not even actually fucking time. really fucking high we're just all clinging to the craps but I've got Luke White years that his raps are fucking shy <laughs> <laughs> Here, we're just gonna like make it clear from the Irish to the English. We fucking love we you. Have to get a drink. We fucking love you. And that is Michael.